Hey y'all, and welcome back. Guess what? It's that time of year again. It is time for the Blackstone Great Griddle Off 2022. Now, this is the third year they've done it. Uh, the first year, I won the breakfast entry with the breakfast tostada. The second year, last year, I placed in the top eight with a jelly-filled pound cake French toast. So this year, I'm gonna do another type of French toast. I'm gonna do a candied banana and pecan or pecan, if you're from around here, French toast stack. So let me say it the way most of y'all say it, is a candied banana pecan French toast stack. But now the kids around here are gonna say, well, no, they want the pecans on it. So anyhow, however you say it, that's what we're gonna make today. Not a lot of ingredients, but I'm telling you what, this thing is gonna turn out phenomenal looking, it's gonna look amazing, and it's gonna taste even better with just a few simple ingredients. So we gotta quit talking about this thing, and we gotta fire this thing up and show you some groceries. Now for today, we want to go these three burners right here. Get all three of them going, turn them down to low, and let's show you some groceries. Now like I said earlier, there's not a lot of ingredients to this. Of course, to make French toast, you gotta have bread. So we got four slices of Texas toast right here. Uh, gotta have your batter, so we got three eggs back here. Got some cinnamon and some snickerdoodle. That's some really good stuff. I found this on the Blackstone website right here. Really, really good. If you can get, in, get your hands on this, I promise you, you'll love it. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Got about a half a cup, maybe, of brown sugar. About two ounces of pecan, pecan halves, or whatever you want, these nuts right here. Uh, got some powdered sugar. Got one banana that we have sliced up. And got about a half a tab of butter already uh, tabbed up, not diced up, tabbed up. And of course we have some maple syrup. And y'all, that's all it's gonna take. Well, so now that you've seen what we're cooking with and the griddle's heating up, let's go ahead and make our batter for that French toast. Okay, to make this batter, we need to go ahead and crack open our eggs here. So let's get our eggs out of the bowl. Get our eggs in here. Super simple, not difficult at all. And by the way, I am not measuring anything. Add some cinnamon in here. I don't know about that much ought to do. Let's add this snickerdoodle. About that much right there, maybe. And just give it a good whisk. Mix it all up really, really good. That simple right there. What you're looking for right there. Two things I forgot to mention while I'm showing you the ingredients, the stuff to cook with. You're gonna need some water, how much, it don't really matter, go get you a bottle of water like this. And you're gonna need some butter to kind of rub on the griddle while you cook that French toast. Speaking of cooking that French toast, I'm seeing that white smoke. Let's get some groceries on this griddle. Put some butter down here. Oh yes sir, buddy, look at that. Butter, butter, butter. Let's get this French toast on here. Let's just go ahead and just Soak both sides of the French toast in that, in that batter right there. Throw it on the griddle. Just like so. Yes, sir. There we go. Get all that good flavor all over that French toast, man, that cinnamon, that snickerdoodle. All right, that French toast is going. We gotta go ahead and candy up these pecans. Sounds kind of fancy, don't it? Let's go ahead and put these pecans on the griddle. Throw down your brown sugar. Throw down all your butter. Throw down your nuts. And here's where you need that water. Add a little bit of water in here. Mix it up good. Like so, give it a good mix. You see that brown sugar starts melting right away. You don't want to add much water at all because you see it gets soupy pretty quick. That butter's gonna melt on in there. I'm gonna tell you right now, this smells good. Man, that French toast is getting good and done. I mean, look at the seasoning on them things. Man, you know them things gonna be good. And just check out these pecans right here. Oh, yes, sir, buddy. Won't be long, we're gonna have us a really good French toast stack. Now, you wanna come in here and just keep that brown sugar kind of mixed up good like this right here. Because if you don't, it's gonna get really, really messy. Now, if you see that syrupy mixture, brown sugar mixture you done made, it's thickening up too much, add more water. If it's too soupy, move it over to a hotter area of the griddle and let it kind of cook out that water and it'll thicken up. Right now, that's looking pretty doggone good. Look at that. 
Let's check this French toast. Oh yeah, there we go. Getting there, getting there. Yes sir, buddy. So we want right there. So now that French toast is flipped. This over here is thickening up pretty good. Let's add some bananas to the mix. Now as far as how many to add, that is completely up to you. If you like a lot of bananas in here, add them. If you want just a few, like I said, this is one banana that I cut up. Just add what you want. I think that ought to be good right there. So now just come over here and give this a good stir. Mix some bananas in good. Look at there. Oh, yes sir, buddy. That is good. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move this mixture over here on the warm side of the griddle. So, cause I don't want the bananas cooked down too much. Let's move that over here, like so. Cause the first time I tried this, I went ahead and put the bananas in there when I did the pecans to begin with. And by the time I got everything done, the bananas actually cooked down to nothing. So I learned my lesson. I had the bananas in right there at the end of the cook. Let's check this French toast. Oh yes, sir. That's what I'm looking for right there. Looking good, looking good. So our candy pecan banana mixture over here is looking really good like it's ready. This French toast is all done up. Oh yeah, I say it's time to plate it up. Go ahead, get your French toast over here and stack it up nice and pretty. Make a stack out of it just like that there. Now I got me a nice little cutting board. Got the Blackstone cutting board, but I put me another cutting board on top just to make it pretty. All right, let's go ahead and kill the heat. Get this over here, one good stir one more time. It's nice and thick. I mean, look how thick that turned out, y'all. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's add a little bit of maple syrup to it now. As much as you want, I don't care. That's up to you. You do you on your pancakes. I think that'll be good right there. Nice nice time to make it good. Just take this, put it on a spatula, and just kind of rake it off onto it. Like that right there. I mean, look at that, look at that. Let's get it all on here, nice and syrupy. Good mixture. Get all that gooeyness on here. Ah, now that's looking really, really good, but we gotta top it off a little bit of powdered sugar. So give me a sifter right here and just kinda, just add a little bit of powdered sugar into it. You don't need much, just make it pretty. There we go. Now, if you really wanna dress it up, take your leftover bananas and just kinda put it in there a little bit. Put some fresh bananas in there that hadn't been cooked down yet. Just kinda throw them on there however you want, like so. Yeah, you can stick them between the bread, I don't care. Like that right there. Now, that looks really good. Let me give y'all a gander at what we done did made here. Let me spin this thing around, kind of give you a good look at all the sides. Man, all the pecans, all that maple syrup, them fresh bananas. Man, this is gonna be so good. We just got to try this out. Look at here. Super simple, super easy, and look at the breakfast you done did made for your family. They're gonna love you if you make this. Speaking of loving, I'm loving the smell that's coming off this. The cinnamon, the snickerdoodle, the maple syrup, these bananas, the brown sugar, the sweetness of it's coming all together. It's making me really hungry. I gotta take a bite of this, y'all. So I think I'm just gonna cut a piece off of it right here. Kind of dredge it through here with some bananas and pecans. Oh, duh, mm, nah. -uh that wow i'm gonna be honest with you that's the first time i've tasted it i made this the other day and put the pictures out there on the internet and i never even tried it everybody else told me how good it was i never tried it i regret that decision i made there's th certain things in life you regret that's one of them me not eating this before now that is delicious and I'm not big into sweets, but that's not overpowering. Believe it or not, it's not really overpowering sweet, although there's a lot of sugar in it. 
that's delicious. Y'all try this out. Uh, it's, it's entered in the Great Griddle Off 2022. Follow that hashtag. Hashtag Great Griddle Off 2022. 22. Great. Let me get it right. Follow that hashtag Great Griddle Off 22. It's down there in the description. Click on that. Take all of the YouTube videos there. Go on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, wherever, whatever social media you may be on, even TikTok. Check out that hashtag. You'll see some amazing creations by some amazing cooks. Yeah, I'm kind of in there too. So with that being said, I got to take this in because I'm sure the kids are fixing to devour it. And thanks for being here and we'll see you next time.